As different as Space and the Deep Sea are, the way we design robots for them is surprisingly similar. First, there's how we design them to move. With little to no friction, every movement causes equal and opposite reactions. A robotic arm making the wrong move can send the target drifting or spinning out of control. If that target is a satellite to repair, you might have just nudged 200 million dollars off course. That's why you have to account for every force and every tiny jerk motion. Next, extreme conditions. Deep sea robots face crushing pressure, freezing water and total darkness. Space robots? It's radiation, vacuum and crazy temperature swings. So we design robots with rug material, thermal control and we give them a torch. And finally, distance. These places are remote and risky. You can't just send someone to fix things, so these robots need to be reliable and often autonomous. Teleoperation is possible, but there is latency, or in low Earth orbits, your robot only has 15 minutes of contact every 90 minutes. Not ideal for precision tasks. 